Welcome to LAME, Log Analysis Made Easy Creations, where we're going to focus on Splunk querying and how to uh, understand how it works. Today we're going to talk about time and using time manipulation to choose how, what kind of a time window you want to be able to query. And so first off, we got to teach some uh, shortcuts here. So for example, we're going to use S stands, a lowercase s is seconds, a lowercase m is minutes, hours, days, weeks. This is the one that always gets me. I want to put months and minutes and I reverse, I get them, I forgot that months is M-O-N instead of M because you got minutes, Y is years, and then the snap command. Snap is going to take time and snap it down to the earliest, rounding down. So for example, if I were to say minus 30 M, so go minus 30 minutes at hours, this is going to look, go back 30 minutes and snap to the lowest hour. So if today, is, if it's right now 937 and I go minus 30 M at hours, it's going to go to the bottom of the hour. It's going to flip it to nine o'clock. And we'll actually show that in practice. So let's go see that. If I jump over to my Splunk instance, we're going to go index equals internal. And the commands we want to use is earliest and latest. We notice I've got here written as all time. That says it's going to search through all my logs through all time. I'm going to say, no, you're not going to. I'm going to override that. Earliest and latest command overwrite whatever is written over here. So if I go earliest and I say minus 60 minutes. And latest, I'm going to take latest out for a minute. If you leave it out, it's going to default to now. And so if I go look at my time, which I'm going to show you how quickly to look at time. You can see it down here, but unfortunately you can't sort. You can't you can't do anything to filter. So I'm going to go right table time. And that's going to bring back my log showing me the time field. If I run that. Sorry, earliest equals minus 60 minutes, my bad. We can see that the first date, 902, that 92 on seconds, that's interesting. If we flip this, we get back exactly one hour ago, 816. One hour difference. If I flip the other way, we can see the logs came at 916. One of the things to notice is when I first hit it, the first log here was 902. Splunk will attempt to return the logs in order, but it's really going to be first come, first receive. So it's going to go query the index. The index is going to shoot back all the data, and how it arrives is how it's going to be ordered. So don't always think that the top log is your latest or earliest log. It's not. And so that, and that can be shown here through this, the sorting. If I do this, now I can sort and I can get the earliest and the latest log. You can see they're exactly 60 minutes. What if I go latest equals minus 10 minutes? I shouldn't get any logs now. Notice the first log is 8.54. Why is it 8.54? I don't know. That's the first log that came back. But if I search, I see my oldest log is 8.17, exactly one hour before that. I flip the other way and I see that the newest log is 907, 10 minutes earlier than the time being run right now. I can go plus, for example, plus 10 minutes. This doesn't make a ton of sense unless you're specific, and you don't need to put the plus, it's by default it's plus. If you have logs coming in from the future, Okay, so actually it doesn't like that plus 10. It's going to want to subtract. And that makes sense. The only reason you're going to be looking for stuff is logs that have their time wrong and that and you should not have future events. But if you're logging, the time is wrong or however it's logging, its time is messed up. Uh, looking in the future is the only reason. That would be the only reason you ever look forward. But all right, so we can change this and let's go. Um, let's show that snap command. So I'm going to go minus 60 minutes at the hour and I'm going to go, still keep the minus 10 minutes and actually we're going to snap that to the hour at hour well it would help if I could read and we're going to put an at hour wow all right
All right, well, we're just going to go. I guess you can't. I'm learning things about the uh, latest, really. Minus 10M at the hour. There we go. Well, you, you make mistakes, but hopefully you're learning from that. Make sure you use negatives. Make sure you get an add in there, not a pound sign. Don't fat finger things. So if I've got this right, we see the first event. That's not going to tell me much. We got 845. If I read this right, we're going to go the earliest event should be 10 minutes back. So you would think 909, but I use the at hour. So it's going to snap down to the earliest hour. So it's going to go to the bottom of the hour. So it should, the first event should be, it'll go 909. It's going to round down to the earliest hour, which means 9 o'clock. So my latest log should be 9 o'clock. I'm going to go earliest. I'm going to go 60 minutes. So it put me at 819, but I'm also going to snap that down to the latest hour. So it should go to 8. So I should be looking at between 8 and 9. My earliest event should be 8. My latest event should be 9. Earliest event is 8. Latest event is not nine. It's as close to nine as you can get. So it takes it just to the bottom. Anyway, hope that makes sense. We can do this with seconds, with minutes, with hours, with days, all of these. These snaps can be at days, hours. Um, anyway, that's how the snap command works. You use, just use your time. You've got all the different functions you want to use. Look at those seconds, minutes, months. Re refer back to the very beginning of the video. Hope this is helpful. This will allow you to refine your search in a query if necessary to give you some granularity that does, may not exist here. Or for particular, if you're writing searches and you want to control it, uh, there's reasons to use earliest and latest. Anyway, I hope this helps. Remember, this is a video. This is a list of videos. It's um, and it, it's, we're going to cover all, the whole vast gamut of the search commands. So if this video was useful, I hope there's other videos in there as well. If it wasn't useful, go look at the list and go see if there's anything that's interesting that you might not know not, a lot about, you want to learn more. If there's commands and uh, stuff that you'd like to learn about, by all means, please write it down below in the comments below. Join my Discord. I take the comments from you guys and tend to make, my, make a lot of my videos based off uh, request from the user community. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and hope you'll keep watching more of my videos. Have a good day.